Hi, my name is Leandro Humberto and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, please subscribe to our channel below and click on the bell to be the first one to know when a new video comes in. Today you are going to start a new series of videos here in your channel about the Databricks platform. For this first video, I will go over with what Databricks is and how you can use it to solve your business problems. First, let's define Databricks in one phrase. Databricks is a managed cloud platform that unifies all the tools that you need for your analytics and AI workloads. How can you use Databricks for that? Databricks is a big data processing engine, so you can process huge amounts of data in a structured or in one structured way, alongside with batch and streaming capabilities. It has the data lake house approach, when you can create a data warehouse on top of your data lake. And also you can attach your business intelligence tools like Power BI or Tableau to see your data through tools, visualization tools. And you also can train machine learning models and use all the popular data science libraries within the environment. You may be asking now, how can Databricks provide these solutions? So let's take a step in and see what are the components of the platform. As you can see, Databricks was built by the original creators of Apache Spark, Delta Lake and MLflow. Those tools play a major role within the platform. So let's take a dive and see how each one of those tools fits within the platform. Starting with Apache Spark, we have a big data processing engine that is the foundation of the Databricks platform. All the computing runs on Spark clusters and decides all those features that you are seeing on the screen right now. In the Databricks platform, you have a easy to use interface to deploy and configure it Spark clusters according to your needs. In second, we have MLflow, which is an open source framework that helps you to manage your machine learning lifecycle. That means that you can use this framework to log what data you are feeding into your model, you can compare your experiments between those iterations, you can also package this model into an easy to use serving interface. And lastly, you can track your model metrics when you deploy it on production. In the Databricks platform, MLflow already comes ready to go and you just have to access it through these sidebar buttons that you are seeing right here. And MLflow also comes with a premium feature that is an easy way to deploy your machine learning model on an API endpoint. And finally, we have Delta Lake. Delta Lake is an open source project that merges together the features from the Data Lake and the Data Warehouse, creating a single new architecture called the Data Lake House. In this architecture, you have the best of both worlds, like ship storage from Data Lake, you can also have schema on read from the Data Lake, but you also have transactions, updates and deletes, and the schema on write capabilities from the Data Warehouse. This creates a powerful environment that you can create your data warehouse solution and plug in business intelligence tools to create this traditional BI approach. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more content. I'll be releasing new videos on this channel. If you have any doubts, please leave your questions on the comments and I'll come back and answer them. Again, thank you. See you next time. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.